Hello, everyone, welcome to JS Group Info. In this video, we are going to talk about Indian Women's vs. Ireland Women's ICC Women's T20 World Cup review. Before I start this video, I would like to make a request to all friends if you are watching my channel without subscribe, please give your valuable support to my channel. It will give more energy as a creator I can make more videos. I believe this video will be very useful for you, if you are a cricket lover, this is the right channel, let's start the video. Smriti Mandana's 87 off 56 and rain together conspired to deny Ireland in Gpurha and launch India into the semi-final of the ongoing Women's T20 World Cup, chasing a target of 156. Ireland were stopped in their tracks by inclement weather at St George's Park, then at 54 halves in the ninth over. Laura Delany's side was found to be five runs short of the DLS target, resulting in an error loss that saw India join Australia and England in the final four. The final league game between South Africa and Bangladesh will decide the fourth semi-finalist. If the hosts win then they will be through if they lose. New Zealand stand a good chance of making it through considering the marginal NRR difference between the two teams. Opting to bat, India capped off a fine power play at 42-0, with Madonna being the aggressor between herself and Shafali Verma. The duo added 62 for the first wicket before Shafali holed out in the deep off Delany's bowling. Madonna stayed on to bring up a 43-ball half-century, her innings rife with gorgeous shots on either side of the wicket but Ireland were guilty of dropping her thrice in total. She was first reprieved on 32 off a full toss, then on 46 again and finally on 74, and Ireland paid a hefty price for it as Mandana anchored two consecutive half-century stands with Shafali, 24, and Harman Preet Corp, 13. Importantly, she scored bulk of the runs in both those partnerships, hitting 9 fours and 3 sixes en route. Delany returned to account for Harman Preet and Richie Gosh in the 16th over and then Orla Prendergast picked up to win the 19th over to threaten stalling India and the death overs. But Jemima Rodriguez struck two boundaries off Arlene Kelly in the final over to get India past 150 and pinch 10 runs off the final over. Facing a stiff target, Ireland's start couldn't be worse. Two wickets fell in Renuka Singh's opening over Rami Hunter was run out off the first ball whereas Prendergast was bold. Those twin strikes meant that Ireland were always behind the eight ball but Gabby Lewis did her best to ensure that her side finished the power play on a decent 44 halves. But once the field spread, Shikha Pandey and Rajshwari Guy Ackwood snuck in two quiet overs conceding only 9 off the 12 balls after the power play and that came back to hurt Ireland when DLS calculations kicked in. Stranded on 54 halves after 8.2 overs, the weather didn't quite allow Ireland to come back and make amends. Thank you so much if you like my channel please give your golden support to me, like, share and subscribe for more cricket updates, be safe, be happy.